what you just heard contained no real instruments. Let me take you a little bit back. Woo! Today, we're doing something fun, a little bit of a challenge, because we live in the year of 2024. Nothing's real, everything's AI, and I was like, okay, I wanted to challenge myself to write an entire metal song utilizing VSTs, fake instruments, not even picking up an actual real instrument. And with that, I hit up my dude, Maxime from Solemn Tones. And I know Solemn Tones has an entire suite of just VST plugins to actually accomplish this with. So that's what we're doing today. For guitars, we're using Odin 3. For a bass, we're using a Sanguine bass. And then for the drums, we are using Mjolnir. Mjolnir? Oh God, I'm Mjolnir. There we go. Game plan is simple. We're making instrumental heavy as f music. Of course, we're gonna go more of that Mick Gordon kind of doom esque uh, like synthetic video game vibe i think it'll just sound so sick with what we're trying to utilize in terms of midi instruments to just actually make it sound realistic and heavy as f and at the end of this video the entire song's gonna be available to stream on spotify and all of that and uh yeah we're gonna do a playthrough and let's just see how real and banger of a song without even touching an instrument also did you know that 47 percent of you aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell come hang out we do fun metal things I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can, but also be realistic. Obviously, usually I start with a guitar, you know, I pick up and I go pluck, 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 low string, hilarious, big notes. So I'm gonna start by programming something that maybe I would play as a riff. Dun, 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 No, this already sounds pretty sick, but again, a lot of what's going to actually make this sound more human is literally humanizing everything. And that's a process that is just going to take a bit of time that I, I don't think over me, you know, writing the song. I'm going to start. I'm going to save that for the end in terms of humanization. I just want to kind of focus on actual songwriting part before doing all the like little details of velocities and pitch bends and and big exact palm mutes and, and all of that. What I'm now going to do is because I have MIDI, which is actually something I really don't mind about writing with MIDI, is that I now can utilize MIDI for everything, which is super sick so right now i can go here boom go to sanguine bass straight up just shove this right the f in it makes me happy and i already have the riff yeah okay all the key switches are the same to make it cohesive now what i like to also do is kind of copy paste some of the guitars just to get the rhythm down obviously i need to you know change this up but i like to have a foundation da -bo, da -bo, da -da -da -da. and this is maybe let's make these toms And again, now you're gonna be like, Nick, this doesn't sound anything like Mick Gordon. One second, serum, synths, you know what the f is up. I'm gonna try a bunch of different patches and see what works in serum. So now we have all these synths together. So this is me reamping through my guitar tone. I'm very curious to hear how this just sounds now. Honestly? Oh, this one has the click anyway, but like otherwise this sounds pretty f good like it actually sounds like me playing to a point i'm kind of surprised how decent it sounds compared with the f now we're going to go on to just the next part i'm going to try to build the song very like cohesively as if i build a normal song using my guitar let's start with the drums the drums i want like a quick like an easy like four on the floor like two And I'm creating this just like really kind of groovy, very open, like almost dance beat. And now I'm going to do a sick riff with this. And again, because I have the guitar, I can now do the bass super easy. I care so much about bass. This is where I'll probably put some kind of uh, ambient guitar lead. I'll use Odin again just for that. <laughs> Do, 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 do. And that can kind of also be a lead that also sets up the this big kind of heavy super chorus. So I'm gonna do this thing called copy pasta from the earlier part of the song. So when this comes in, it sh it should be massive. Let's add breakdown. We're gonna we're gonna go breakdown. So I'm gonna follow up on that. Dun, 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 bam, dun, 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 dun. And I'm also gonna do it with the bass, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna take these drums here now. We're going like dun 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 dun. 
It's going to be huge. And this is going to obviously be a f blasty right here. And then we're going to do a four on the like a two. Pluto. And then we go straight out into that sick. Final step is I sent all the MIDI slash stems to a mixer to just get the maximum bang when it comes to this blast playthrough. Blast playthrough? Yes. Honestly, I'm really surprised how good that sounds. <laughs> this thing has a guitar, so like I'm used to just playing the guitar. But yeah, nowadays, even, you know, bass is programmed, drums are obviously programmed. It's all mixed together, synths are a big part of production. So like, the big thing for me was just programming the guitars for this. But yeah, this was fun. There you guys go. I guess the song is out now. I don't know what I called it. I think I called it, probably called it Unreal or something absolutely dumb like that. I don't know, check it out. And of course, go check out Solemn Tones. Again, their whole suite is super sick. The fact that I can just like open those three plugins, utilize it and write a whole song like this. I think I did it in like two hours. I don't know, Caleb can have the timer up here. And um, yeah, it's just fun. It's a cool writing tool. And like, you you know, it's not just like a tester writing tool. Like sure, some people do this and then obviously track the full song. But it's also a writing tool for people that just don't have access, I think, to instruments. So go utilize these plugins. Show soul in the love. And uh, yeah, go stream the song. It's like it's like past midnight here. I, 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 I don't know what I was doing. But um, this is fun. This is fun. Especially with a serious mix. This is so this is the epitome of fun metal shit. All right. Bye.